Florida Atlantic University has a new 30,000 seat uh, football stadium and they've been looking for a corporate sponsor because they've taken out loans in order to pay for the construction of the stadium and uh, something unprecedented has happened okay geo group has decided to give them a six million dollar donation which will be paid to them over the next 12 years now if you don't remember geo group it's actually one of the largest for-profit prison corporations here in the United States that's amazing amazing we're now having private prisons finance football stadiums. Am I the only one that thinks that's insane? It's, I, I think that it's insane. And I especially think it's insane that they think that people can't see through what they're trying to do. So, of course, uh, right now, for-profit prisons are trying to have a tremendous amount of political sway because they want to make sure that they can pass uh, the very, very tough-on-crime legislation. And they also want to make sure that states grant them contracts. And you're more likely to get those contracts if you have a high profile, if you're known as a charitable uh, corporation, if you're known for helping public universities, as they have in this particular case. And everybody loves football. You're associated with football. You seem like a pillar of the community. Yeah. Because Anna's 100% right about this. Because think about this. They, who are they advertising to? Now, you name a stadium after a Staples Center, or whatever it might, because you want people to go to the Staples and buy stuff from there, office equipment, right? But you... <laughs> You, consumers don't go in and go, oh, could you push me in your for-profit prison? I'd love to do that. So it isn't advertising to the people, it's advertising to those government you know, decision makers, like, oh, we're good guys, look at all this money we gave, now give us more money. And by the way, the most dangerous part, more prisoners. Those get yeah. tough on crime things ain't about getting tough on crime. It's about creating more prisoners, which is to them a commodity what they make money off of. That's part of the reason why um, you're seeing um, you know, strict immigration laws passed, like for instance you saw that with SB 1070 in Arizona, but that's another reason why uh, the war on drugs continues, because you have these for-profit prisons you know, funding these politicians and making sure that they don't get rid of the war, uh, the war on drugs. Also, uh, it, since we're talking about Florida specifically, Geo Group gave $1.2 million to Republican politicians last year alone because they're trying to make sure that the entire correctional uh, system in Florida becomes privatized. And another amazing statistic for you guys, um, last year alone, the U.S. spent $2 billion worth of uh, taxpayer money to detain uh, uh, undocumented immigrants in these for-profit prisons, okay, mm -hmm. before deporting them. So, first of all, why are we detaining them for a significant amount of time prior to deporting them? If you want to deport them, just deport them. The reason why we're doing that is so these people can make a tremendous amount of money. And by the way, they're getting paid by taxpayers, okay? This is public money going into a private corporation. Now you begin to understand why President Obama broke a record on deportations, because somebody was making a buck off of it. If somebody's making a buck off of it, President Obama's going to find a way to help him. Okay? And look, it's insanity to have private prisons. To encourage private corporations to make money off of imprisoning our citizens, right or wrong? You think they give a shit whether, like, imagine a private prison's like, oh, well, that doesn't seem fair. Mm -hmm. Steve here was wrongly convicted. Maybe we should let him out. <laughs> the more people wrongly convicted, the happier they are.